As miles and miles of storm drains throughout the metro area and what we may not see are the hundreds of people who call these tunnels home. Fox 5 Cecil Anderson talks with a survivor, an author and an activist about the light at the end of the tunnel. Right after I entered my 17th re or my 16th rehab, I went AWOL. I, I left the rehab and I came home to nothing. And I was on the streets. Um, fast forward, I ended up in the tunnels pretty quickly for protection and also to get out of the climate. That was monsoon season also. A variety of ways that people end up there. A lot of them had childhood trauma that they, they struggled with. Of course, a lot of the people I interviewed come from you know, complete families, well-to-do families, great educational backgrounds, and, and ended up in the tunnels as well. Well, for me, um, all the days kind of went together. Uh, I couldn't say that, okay, I got up at eight in the morning and this is what I did, and this is what I did at five. My whole thing was to either steal what you had or go score more for me and stay loaded. I, you know, I went down there just to get loaded and, and to, to basically to die. What I didn't know at the time was that these, a lot of these people would get out of the tunnels and get off the drugs and turn around their lives. My mom and dad were sitting at home and they saw me in the background of a 2020 special on Matt and his first book and they flew to uh, Vegas and hired a detective and had me kidnapped out of there. That's how I, how I got out of there. If my parents had not pulled me out of there, I wouldn't last it much longer. I was half my body weight when I came out of there. Some people literally crawled out on their own. You know, they just found the motivation within to change. Uh, other people down there um, got help from Shine a Light, from Help of Southern Nevada, from U.S. Vets, and they had a little boost getting out of the tunnels. The people in, in most of the tunnels that are populated in this town most of those people know that there is an alternative, but what it is is you got to become willing enough, you know, that you want to you want to stay sober more, you want to get loaded, or you want to have a different chance at life than you want to stay down there.